So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again and today I want to talk about the focusing system of microscopes. And why? Because I did receive another question and the question was this, why are there actually in a microscope, why are there two focusing knobs, one on the left and one on the right side? Um, and uh, this, uh, the viewer was not uh, asking about the coarse and the fine focus knob here, but rather why are there two? Because you can only use one hand anyway to operate the focus because the other hand generally will be used to operate the mechanical stage. So usually uh, with the right hand, for right-handed people, the mechanical stage can be operated here with the right hand and with the left hand you're operating yeah, the focus knob, which you cannot see because it's here. Okay, now it's better, okay? So that's basically the way that I'll be using the microscope. So why do you need another one over here on the other side? Well, and there are actually, um, as a matter of fact, a couple of reasons for this. Um, and one reason is, is um, yeah, why not? <laughs> because there is an axle running through the microscope here anyway. Um, and uh, this means if there is only a focusing knob on one side and if the axle is running through it, then you might as well connect one on the other side as well. And this allows uh, the person using the microscope, um, yeah, all the left-handed people to use the microscope. Uh, and uh, another thing is, is uh, some microscopes, can this can be turned around. And then if you want, you can um, use the microscope also this way. This is actually more for the um, smaller microscopes. With the larger ones like this, you don't really turn, uh, yeah the tube around yeah but uh, at least you have the possibility here and uh, this basically means you do not gain anything if you only have a focusing knob on, on one side yeah so this is uh, basically one reason and another reason is, is that in some microscopes um, especially some uh, stereo microscopes you need two focusing knobs here because uh, when you rotate them against each other you can adjust the tension um, of the stage and this is actually um, yeah um, also very important that you take care that not all microscopes allow you to do that I actually once broke physically broke a microscope I thought that the microscope um, yeah it, you could tighten it by rotating it against each other I've done this and something snapped and it broke Luckily, it was not a very expensive microscope, but do not apply any force when doing that check the manual I broke a microscope this way and beyond repair so be careful uh, with these things but yes it is possible to also then uh, rotate, uh, rotating it against each other, other and in some microscopes you can actually then take apart the microscope for service so that's something that uh, might also be uh, taken into consideration so there are actually several reasons and simply having a uh, focusing knob on one side really yeah you don't gain anything because uh, yeah you just say saving a little bit of plastic <laughs> um, but uh, because you have the axle running through it anyway so it's uh, yeah, clear that you might simply attach uh, something um, on both sides um, however that's not the only thing that i want to talk about uh, in this video is um, because uh, there are uh, yeah different uh, approaches uh, to the focusing system that i would like to now also um, clarify with you here for example um, this uh, you, you can see when i rotate uh, the coarse focus knob and the fine focus knob is also rotating okay um, yeah and uh, this is basically one uh, way that uh, how the focusing system can be designed or when I rotate the fine focus then the yeah, coarse focus also rotates and then there are also other microscopes where this uh, the, these two systems are decoupled and when you rotate the coarse focus knob then the fine focus knob does not spin so uh, quickly so it simply will move along with the course focus, but uh, the gearing is done differently. Um, and um, yeah, which system has any advantages or disadvantages? Well, I personally feel that the, those microscopes, so when where it is coupled like this, um, yeah, it doesn't sometimes, especially operating the fine focus knob, it does not uh, quite turn as lightly um, or as easily as if it were when it's de decoupled. But honestly, um, um, for all practical purposes, it really does not make a huge difference. Um, but uh, I do have the feeling that uh, um, if it's decoupled, it's a little bit more precise. Um, and as a matter of fact, all better microscopes um, have a system in place where 
uh, yeah, it's decoupled and where it does not spin quickly. I guess maybe the mechanics is a little bit uh, more complex uh, in those systems and that's why you find more in lower cost microscopes you find it quite often that uh, the coarse and defined focus knob is, is kind of combined like this. Uh, but I would say this is not a, 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 a big uh, a big issue here. Yeah, so this is uh, basically uh, there are different systems li like this around and uh, another thing that I want to simply mention is the following. Um, something that uh, many people also don't know, but check if your microscope has a little screw here. Um, here, this one here, for example, has one. And this one allows you to uh, set the highest position of the stage. So um, it will kind of, uh, if you go any higher, it will block it uh, because uh, this screw here will prevent the stage from being raised even further. So this is actually the function yeah, of this screw here. It's kind of a, like a, a protective uh, mechanism for um, for the objectives. Yeah, so in, if you uh, do not have the full focusing range, then check uh, that uh, yeah, you might want to readjust this part here. Yeah, so I think that's that's pretty much everything that I want to say uh, today. Um, yeah, um, I would say that uh, um, the reason why there are two focusing knobs next to each other, yeah, is I would say because it doesn't really make a huge difference if you don't have it. There is no, uh, you don't. Uh, the, co the microscope will not be less complex if you just uh, to only have one uh, focusing knob. It's just a bit, a bit of plastic that you have to attach, and so you might as well simply have it there. Yes, uh, before I stop, I know there are some microscopes where essentially the two focusing systems are not on the same axle, but uh, their fine focus knob is up here, and so they are separated. That's also a possibility. Yeah, uh, but otherwise, uh, most microscopes actually have a system where, with a coarse and defined focus. And some some children's microscopes uh, and very basic microscopes, compound mic microscopes, they only have uh, one focusing system, um, one focus knob. And uh, the reason why they do that is, is because, of course, not only to keep the cost of the microscope low, uh, but also to make sure that uh, children are not overwhelmed with too many wheels to turn. And uh, you want to keep generally the microscope simple. So I think uh, that's enough for today. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time and bye-bye.